then we have the story of ranthi deva which is a very inspiring story of it is actually the pinnacle of uh, human ability you see it is the last of all human freedoms as victor frankl very beautifully says uh, if you truly want to understand how powerful our mind can be how strongly we can hold to values uh, you should actually read a book by a person who was uh, you know caught in a concentration camp his name is victor frankl he is very famous it's a classic book for uh, you know mental health he i think the name is man search for a meaning so it was a book on how do a human actually uh, find the meaning in life and and in that he beautifully says one thing he says irrespective of the circumstances if you can hold on to values which you cherish that is the last of all human freedoms you see which means the circumstances we use the word normal or we use the word practical to actually move away from uh, the ideal you see but uh, that's not how india works but generally we use the term uh, practically speaking anybody would do the same thing etc but victor frankl was saying that i had the power to be compassionate even when a situation demanded me uh, to be brutal towards somebody i had the capacity to be accepting even when a situation demanded me to condemn a person when there is scarcity in a in a concentration camp victor frankl found that there were acts of kindness when it was uh, you know even food was difficult to come by for all, all the uh, people in the camp yet there were some people who were starving yet they were ready to give their portion of their food to a, another starving person so he observed that and very beautifully said that irrespective of the circumstances if we can hold on to dharma uh, i'm just uh, indianizing what he said dharma is four parts you all know that uh, dharma is speaking the truth and uh, showing compassion and the third one is controlling our senses even when the temptation or even when the need is very strong and the fourth is purity uh, in sanskritam we must have uh, you all must have read in bhagavatam it is uh, satyam which is truth daya which is compassion and then you have tapas which means controlling the senses when you want to uh-huh. and then saucham saucham means purity so okay these are some fundamental human values which we call uh, common dharma or in sanskrit it is called as samanya dharma so now if you see uh, in ranthi deva's charitram the reason why this king called ranthi deva found a place in shukamuni's heart because he exhibited what modern psychology calls as the last of all human freedoms which means ranthi deva was ruling a land which had a famine for about famine was there for about 3 uh, decades people were dying all around him he lost his family and uh, he himself was starving and after a while he got a little food and when he was about to eat that food uh, he found somebody coming begging for food he gave a portion of it and then somebody else came he gave another portion then a dog came he gave even the water to drink and after the water got empty all the food got empty already our ranthi deva is supposed to rule the land and he was a royal ruler and all that he is famished he is all skin and bones and he has not eaten or drank water for a long time after giving whatever was available to him totally to others including a dog he cried and bhagavatam says do you know why he cried he cried looking at the anguish looking at the suffering of human kind and he had a prayer to bhagavan he said let me sit in the hearts of all those who are afflicted and i guess you know imaginarily or uh, you know just as a sort of a exaggeration bhagavan would have said i am already sitting in the hearts of everybody i am the antaryan but he said they let you sit but i also want to sit in the hearts of everybody why do you need two antaryans he says you are merely a witness sitting in the hearts of all the jeevas i want to sit in hearts of all jeevas and experience all their miseries and uh, dukkha all their you know troubles all their 
adversities let me do the experiencing and let the jeevas experience only the joy let there actually be only happiness in the world let all the sorrow be experienced by me can you imagine this type of a prayer from a man or from a great ruler who has been hungry and whatever he got after a long time has been taken away or given away and that prayer look at this he didn't do atma nivedana he didn't do bhajana he didn't do atma vichara the moment he had this prayer with great alacrity brahma vishnu and shiva gave him darshan because that is the power of exercising the last of all human freedoms and it becomes almost divine you see that's what bhagavatam is beautifully showing if you can truly be a human you are already spiritual and unless you are spiritual you can't get to that state of ultimate humanness and which is why i come back to this incredible quote of our beloved guru maharaj which is humanity and divinity are inseparable 